And I think it's time to talk about your old pal Dewdrop, who is facing off for the Royal Women's Championship against behind me, big time Bex. Big looking, time. looking absolutely fantastic, yeah. looking over us there. Tremendous. Uh, speaking of incredibly famous people in the last part, that's the most famous person I've ever yeah. seen. She looks... Famous looking person I've ever so, seen. She looks so, so famous, doesn't she? <laughs> Since she's come back, like, her and Seth as well, like... We kind of we kind of ripped into Seth a little bit, you know, over the course of the last eighteen months about the drip, mm. but I think the drip is real now. It has I think improved. the drip is realer. It's more. It, it's it, it's just elevate. It's it's evolved. Yeah. That's what we're saying. That's what it, we're he's to gone say. from online fast fashion to possibly unethical uh, fast fashion yeah, to to a cat, tailor catwalk <laughs> bespoke tailoring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's, 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 he looks absolutely incredible yeah. at the minute. He's got some fantastic coats. I'm very envious of his coat collection, mm. I can't lie. I'm a big fan of a good coat. Let's, let's move on to Dewdrop then. Um, you, you know her very, very well from her time on the Independence as well as here at NXT UK, of course, yeah. filming in the BT Sports Studios. I think it was only a year, maybe a year and a half ago, she was in literally this room yeah. uh, in front of nobody. Wild. Right? And now 40, 50,000 fans at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, you're right, man. I'm like, what, last year, I'm pretty sure there was the fourth Cat Anywhere match with her and Kayleigh Ray mm. that, you know, nearly knocked the building down and there were, it was just absolutely insane. And like you say, to go from the empty arena matches there to 30, 40, 50, 60,000 people maybe at the Royal Rumble for the Women's Championship against Becky Lynch. I mean, that is just so cool. Yeah, it's such a massive spot as well because we spoke about it being the the event that probably brings in the most casual yeah. eyes, the, the, the eyes down, that everybody yeah. understands. And then yeah. to be associated with you know, Becky Lynch, who's, Top of the bill. who's made herself infinitely, Top infinitely of the bill. mainstream. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Top of the bill. I mean, Roman said it best, didn't he? When he was talking to Seth Rollins uh, last week or what it was, when he said if he wanted to main event the Royal Rumble against a megastar, he'd have chosen Seth's wife. But that's what Doodrop's doing. She is main eventing the Royal Rumble against a megastar. And I just think, you know, what an incredible story that is for our brand, for British professional wrestling, for the, you know, for the Scottish fans all, you know, that are going to be tuning into this. You know, they've really got a, a, a hero to back on this one and she deserves everything she gets. Becky Lynch's title reign, it's heading for something pretty incredible. If she gets through the Deidre match, we're looking at one of those sort of WrestleMania mega moments, yeah. aren't we, with that, with that title on the line. And it's when, it's when the names are worthy of the yeah. of the match, right? They they create this huge moment. I think we are heading towards a number of those with yeah. Becky Lynch. She's just been on a roll. It's like you said, the look and everything. Everything just keeps evolving into this into this like real megastar. And I don't know. What do you think? Her versus Charlotte WrestleMania. Does it look like it may be going that way? Can do drop? You know. Be the thorn in the side, the, the bump in the road? I think it's got to the point, I think we've seen it with Roman, and we'll talk about Roman and Seth in a minute, where it's almost any match you make, you think, oh, yeah. yeah. exactly. And what a story for Dewdrop to go to WrestleMania. Mm. What a story that is. Do you know what I mean? From NXT in an empty arena, in its side a year to get to WrestleMania. It's just, it's just brilliant. And then that's what wrestling's about for me, you know, that's what sports entertainment is about, is those incredible stories. and. This is my favourite time of the year because this is where all the stories are just bubbling and boiling in that pot and then, you know, the payoff is three months away and we're going to have a lovely day in Dallas. I hope we're there. <laughs> lovely days. Lovely days. We're going to have a we're lovely, have a, a lov lovely, a lovely little break days. over there. <laughs> You'll see us there, don't you worry. I've even said it into the camera.